Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to The Bearded Woodworker. Today I'm going to make a cane for my mother. This is a no-lathe cane. And here are some things that I have in the shop now. <clears throat> um, I've had these. I don't know where they came from. They were in a closet and they're meant for chairs. But um, you're going to need a rubber stopper for the bottom of your cane. And for the bulk of the cane, I'm going to use... Uh, it's a push stick for like a broom. You, you buy them pre-made, they're strong, it has a tip. Uh, the only problem is, there's a lot of play. So I don't know if I want to just fill that up with epoxy and stick it in place, or if I'm going to make a thicker portion to go in there and then um, put it onto this cane or not. <clears throat> I also have a thicker closet dowel, which is too big, but maybe I can sand this down and form it into the cane. I also went down to a, a wood turning place in Newport, and I was able to pick up this piece of purple heart wood. It's heavy, it's hard, I have never uh, used this wood, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna fare with it but my mom's favorite color is purple and I'm hoping to make the handle out of this it's uh, what did it call it, it it's seven eighths of an inch I can't think of of the name that he called it but anyways it's the perfect width for this handle uh, or for the, the cane shaft itself. So I'm going to make the handle and I'm going to glue it in here probably with a dowel or something. Uh, so anyways, I got this for about $20 and it's almost 24 inches. So I've got plenty. If I screw up, I can make more and I can save it for other projects. So let's see if I can't turn all of this stuff here into a cane. Check it. So I took some old pine that I had just to cut out a sample to see if it's going to be a good size handle because I'd hate to do it all on the purple heartwood and find out that it's not going to work. This is actually the second one that I've made. It's rough shape. I just kind of took it to my belt sander to take off the edges to to see. So I like the feel of that. I'm going to go ahead and use this as a template. a little something different here there's a hole the bottom of my uh, drill press so I stuck the cane shaft <laughs> right through the hole 
and onto the solid base. We'll see if that holds it steady enough for me. Right, so I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, I ordered an SD card online for cheap. Don't do that, trust me. Uh, I've been using that in my camera and it's caught probably 53 minutes worth of stuff. It had plenty of space still on this 64 gig card. And then everything that I started shooting after I sanded the handle is no longer there. So what you missed was me making a stain with acrylic paint and water just watered down the paint i was able to make the stain i stained the shaft uh and then you also missed me putting two coats of clear on it so i just used a uh, satin spray clear put two coats of clear on it uh you've also missed me <clears throat> uh, giving my outro so i'm now giving my ending outro um so i had bought these remember and it was just too big and I don't have time. 
right now to make anything that to, to fit on the here to flare out and to fit in here but what i did find and you could probably find this at goodwill too is in my garage just up in the rafters i had an old pair of crutches and i'll tell you this little thing right here is way bigger than that and i think that's gonna of course be a better stabilizer but it fits just perfectly snug right here in the bottom so i'm much happier with that instead so i'll shoot it here and i think because of that bottom it's able to kind of stand up on its own <laughs> nice catch um it'll knock over easy it's not designed to make a stand on its own but it's um yeah i'm wearing slippers <laughs> so anyways that's how it turned out it's a nice color again I'm waiting for the handle the um, purple heartwood to oxidize and turn purple before we clear coat on that but it's a nice handle it's smooth fit and I've got the old one maybe I'll draw this up and I'll post it online if anyone wants one of these. Let me know in the comments and, and I'll be sure to do that. Um, so, this cane going across country to me. Anyways, uh, I hope maybe this helps anyone out there who's looking to make a cane, a no lathe cane for yourself or a loved one or, or to sell and, and make. Uh, I'll let you know how this goes. I'm pretty confident on the uh, glue and the dowel and holding the the candle so anyways if you guys liked what you see give me a thumbs up it actually really does help with the algorithms here that uh youtube has it's gonna help me make my channel grow uh, speaking of growing i just hit over 2,000 subscribers this week and it's still growing awesome thank you guys it's it just feels fantastic keep going let's keep going um if you haven't subscribed subscribe Hit thumbs up. Be awesome. This is Bearded Woodworker. Merry Christmas. Out.